So here you have the Superior Vena Cava. This is going to be the aorta, the aortic arch. Superior Vena Cava splits into two, so brachiocephalic. Then you have the subclavian in the shoulders. Then you're going to have the internal jugular, external <coughs> jugular. If we continue on from the subclavian, then you have the cephalic. This is going to be the axillary region. This is going to be brachial. This is going to be basilic. From basilic, you then go into the median cubital. The brachial then splits into two, radial on the outside and fibular, uh, excuse me, ulnar on the inside. If we come back up here, so coming to this aortic arch, we have the same thing. So get in a little bit. Here we have the right brachiocephalic. This one over here is going to be the common carotid, left common carotid. Then over here you have the left subclavian. If we follow from the common carotid, we then have the internal carotid, the external carotid. Here we have the vertebral um, artery, and then this one in the back would be the vertebral vein. Following from that subclavian, we then go into the axillary artery, then we go into brachial artery, and then we go into radial and ulnar artery. If we flip to the back, this is going to be the azygous. These over here is going to be the pulmonary arteries. The red ones are going to be the pulmonary veins. This part right here behind the heart is going to be the thoracic aorta, which then moves into the abdominal aorta. And also I can point out that inferior vena cava. Coming back this way. So we have the abdominal aorta here. We have the inferior vena cava here. This part right in here is going to be the celiac artery. Right here we have the renal artery and renal vein. This one coming up here, so these two right here are going to be the superior mesenteric artery. This one here is going to be the inferior mesenteric artery. And then these little twigs that you have right here are going to be the gonadal artery and vein. When you come here, you see this split. This first split here is going to be the common iliac. Common iliac then splits into two. These two going inside would be the internal iliac. Then these two coming outside would be external iliac. That then goes into femoral. So going with the veins, you have the femoral. You have the greater saphenous. You have the popliteal vein. This would be the anterior tibial. This would be the fibular vein. And then this one over here would be the posterior tibial vein. Coming over to the artery side. So again, common iliac internal iliac, external iliac, then we go into femoral, we go into popliteal, we have the anterior tibial, we have the posterior tibial, and then we have the fibular artery.